、アンシーン64プレゼント。Obscure was a short series of survival horror games created by French studio Hydrovision Entertainment, with a first chapter published by Dreamcatcher Interactive in 2004 for PlayStation 2, Xbox, and PC. The game soon gained a cult following of fans thanks to its school settings, multiple characters to use, catchy soundtrack, and a fun co op mode. The main plot of the game was inspired by classic slasher horror movies and centered around a group of teenagers trying to survive against strange monsters. In 2007, Hydrovision and Playlogic released a sequel set two years after the events of the first game. The main protagonists who survived Leafmore High enrolled in the Fall Creek University, where a whole new series of horrible, horrible things was growing underneath. In 2008, Hydrovision decided to port Obscure 2 to the PSP and Nintendo DS, but only the PSP version was released in 2009. The Nintendo DS port was quietly cancelled, and the only info available was its planned title, Obscure Dark Aura. Being impossible to manage a game similar to the PlayStation 2 version on the Nintendo DS, many speculations about this lost game have been circulated online. Thanks to research made in 2016 for an article published in the Unseen 64 book, we can finally learn the truth about Obscure Dark Aura. Obscure DS was a port of Obscure 2 with new gameplay elements and a slightly different storyline. Initially, an early prototype was created as a top down tactical RPG, but the idea was scrapped after just a few months. The images you see in this video are the only screenshots remaining from this lost game. Cory, Shannon, and Stan were the playable characters in Dark Aura. As in previous Obscure games, each one of them had their own set of abilities. Early in the game, Cory would discover that he could use the dark aura from the monster's dead bodies to transfer it into another monster's body in order to make it explode. This was a new gameplay mechanic that was completely absent from the original version and that would have been implemented through the DS touchscreen. An example of this mechanic was the boss plan for the Brotherhood area, a creature that would resist every weapon and generate little monsters. Using the new dark aura power, players had to make the little creatures explode near the boss to hurt it. The general plot in Dark Aura was quite similar to Obscure 2 in how the story unfolded. Leonard Friedman was still alive as an evil tree with a mutated son, but the fate of the game's protagonists was heavily changed. Those who died in the original Obscure 2 could have survived in Dark Aura and vice versa. One of the most tragic deaths in Obscure 2 was the suicide of Cory, who kills himself just before the final boss. This did not happen in Dark Aura, and he would survive through the whole game, with his own version of the ending to boot. A new area was also planned for Dark Aura, an electric plant near Leafmore High. Outside the school, an elevator could give access to the second floor, but there would be no electricity. Taking a manhole, players would be able to access the electric plant where they had to reactivate the power. Multiplayer mode was also planned to be included in Dark Aura. A four player versus mode would see one player impersonating a monster hunting the other players down who tried to escape and hide themselves in the process. A two player co op mode was also included, focused on killing powerful monsters together from the single player mode. The monsters could go through the entire map to find the two players, so you had to be really quick to find ammo and be ready to face it when it showed up. In the end, Obscure Dark Aura was cancelled when Playlogic fell into economic problems and were not able to publish the game. Dark Aura was essentially completed when canned. A few sources said that a bunch of preview cartridges were even printed before the project was completely trashed. Unfortunately, in late 2012, Hydrovision went bankrupt and the studio was shut down. Former Hydrovision employees decided to split in two and create two smaller companies. Although some people simply left, the maintaining developers founded Mighty Rocket Studio and Seven Studio. In 2013, Mighty Rocket Studio released a new game titled Final Exam, originally planned to be a more arcadey reboot of Obscure. Since then, not much is known about the current situation of the studio or if they will ever return to develop a classic survival horror game in the Obscure series. You can read more about Obscure Dark Aura and other cancelled games in the book Video Games You Will Never Play. Check the video description for more details. Unseen 64 is an independent collective of gamers from all around the world, and in their archive they remember cancelled, beta, and unseen video games. Please consider to support Unseen 64 on Patreon to help them to keep the site alive and to remember even more games that could be forgotten forever. Thanks for your support.